Adding new paint and furniture gives a room a fresh new feel, but an old ceiling fan will quickly stale that effect. Just kidding. Let's get to work. Okay. So now we want to remove the fan. We want to kill the power to the room. Make sure there's no power at all. Test the light switch. Make sure it doesn't come on. Test the other outlets to make sure they don't power on. Because you never know if there might be some extra power coming through here or not. But it's just better safe than sorry. If you have a meter, you can use that as well, but if you don't have a meter, at least definitely check the light switch. So we take off the blades first. Now, when you're working, on your blade that may look nice and clean from the bottom, but the back is probably pretty filthy. So you want to lay a blanket down to make sure that you get everything so it doesn't make a mess. Okay, so now blades are removed. You want to have a ladder that's tall enough that you can reach the top comfortably. You don't want to overreach and see how loose this ceiling fan is. It needs to be changed out anyway. Remove this base plate. You disconnect the wiring to the fan before you take the weight of the fan down. You know, make sure you disconnect all the wiring. <coughs> This light has a separate light switch, so there is a red wire here that denotes the light switch that runs to the light, and then we also have the black wire that runs to the fan itself. So this one has two separate switches, so be aware of that. Your light might have one wire going to both the blue and the black. If it has both going there, then you only have one switch running the light. Always disconnect the one going to the fan and cap the one coming from the ceiling because if you need to turn the power back on before you're done, you don't want an exposed wire. You can tell the ceiling ones from the other ones because the ceiling ones are a stiffer, more uh, single strand of wire, so it's a harder wire, whereas these are multi-strand wires and they're very more, more flexible. So well, multi-strands are more flexible, so usually the multi-strands are coming from the fan itself. Sometimes you might have to take the uh, light fixture itself off the light kit. Right here it might have to come off to get this piece off so you can get to the screws. Okay, so now we got the hardware removed. The fan should slide out fairly easily. So now here is the fan. This is what was holding it up on this bracket right here. So each ceiling fan has its own bracket. So we're going to remove this bracket. There we go. Ceiling fan is removed. 